has given us through the gifts, the spiritual gifts, that we, sh we should be in alert because we're not living a, a very quiet moment around the world. And the news around the world, it's not happening. Everything that's happening around the world is, is a situation that requires some, some care. And why? Why should we be alert? And, and why is the Holy Spirit revealing this instruction? It's what we're going to, going to see here through this word of the Bible. Because the moment that we are living, it's the moment that ant anticipates the return of our Lord Jesus. Many churches don't risk to say that. You know why? Because some people think that's a, a it's an argument. It's a scary argument. They scare. Let's not preach cat, cat, catastrophic stuff because they can be scared and they can and they might not want to come back to church. But if you're here tonight, the name of it, the name of this church means Jesus will return, Maranatha, us as a servant of the Lord, heralders of the Lord, we will announce the return of Jesus. Some days, we participated in, a, in the feast of the Lord, so we participated on the, in the bread and the wine. The juice, the, the grape juice represents the blood of Jesus shed on the cross. And in the moment that we participated on the feast at the church, it's always, we always remember to do that in memory of myself. We have to, we have to memorize and always remember the sacrifice of Jesus, but not only his sacrifice, but that on the third day he resurrected, and that, that most important, that one day he will return to, to us. The moment of the feast is a moment of communion. It's a moment where we, we learn how to forgive each other, because we will live as a body in the church. A lot of times we, we don't agree with, with what we say to each other, but I love, we have to love each other because we are the body. The perfect prayer is, Father, forgive us as we forgive the ones who have offended us. If I don't, if I don't forgive the ones who offend me, the Lord will not forgive me. We have to live in communion because one day we'll be together face to face before our Savior Lord. This understanding of body, some other churches don't have. Some churches don't even imagine that that exists. Where, where we are all different people from different places, we have the same understanding of the understanding of the, the same doctrine of the Lord. So in the world that we're living today, it's a word of a darkness. The chapter 3, before the text we read, speaks about a moment that, uh, the, the darkness moment. Yeah, he talks about the night. By night on my bed, I sought the one I loved. And many in, in these days are seeking Jesus. They're accommodated. They're trying to, they're trying to find a Jesus that adequates his own way, his own, his own things that he believes or he likes. Many, many times we've seen that some institutions are, are agreeing with things that the, they are. They are going against what the Jesus and the Bible says. The, the, the question of, uh, of verse 6 is what the, 
is, is what everybody says. Who is this coming out of the wildness? The world does not understand. They criticize us. They judge us. They see us with the Bible on, the, on, on the, our arms, and they criticize us. And this, and this people that the world ask about is the people of the Lord. It's a, it's not an institution. It's a church. It's a, it's a title that says the church that follows Jesus. It's not a Maranatha or any other. It's the church. There is a people that is, is that hears the voice of Jesus, even even with the situation that's out there. But this church is sustain us with the means of grace, because the Holy Spirit gives us, so we can continue to be firm, standing in the presence of the Lord, brethren. This world is in a situation. It is distorted disturbed a word that many people they hate each other neighbors and then and then at the end of the year that they they come say and, they, and, and then at the last month of the month of the year people turn themselves into uh, lovers but that's not the love we we learn we learn a love that sustains us, that will take us to eternity. The text that we read, the brethren has seen signs, indications, the church, the faithful church, experimenting now. It talks about the pillars of smoke. It talks about the presence of the Holy Spirit among us. The moment that he he transmitted the gifts, we have to have possession of this smoking column. It's the Holy Spirit that is here distributing my, to myself, to you, the blessing that we all need. And it is always, it is also But the word of the Lord says that we're going to be blessed. And that's what's happening. And, the, and even though we are suffering, preparing to leave this world, our suffering, it's similar to the suffering of Jesus on the cross that died to save us. While he was suffering, he was pleasing the, the Father. His, but it smells the smell, the good smell of Christ. We smell this, this, and this myth is what sustains us in this in this world that wants to destroy us. The myth has given us the strength, necessary strength, to continue. The, prayer. the prayers are the expression of the church. If we don't have gratitude, how are we going to live in this world so annoying? And the church knows how to serve the Lord, to adore the Lord. Many of us go through, to, through trials and difficulties, but we come here and ask the Lord for forgiveness and we thank the Lord for everything that he has done for what he has sustained us because until now the Lord has helped us the smell is going to the children sang when when the church says glory Jesus the smell goes to the the fragrant powders. The fragrant powders represents our testimony and those who are around us at work, neighbors, families, 
they, they need to see in us the presence of the Lord, the shining of the Lord being reflected on us so they can see that. The behold, the Solomon's couch was sustained with 60 valiant men around it. Those, those 60 valiant are us, 60s. But when we we are we've, we're not perfect, but when we plead for the blood of Jesus, this, this work is a project of life. It's a project that Jesus has called us. Because of that, we are called the valiant of the Lord. Sometimes you think you're shy. You don't feel like you're valiant. But the Lord is, but the Lord is calling you to let you know that you're valuable for him. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The verse 8 says, they all hold swords. The word of the Lord is everything. It's what sustains us. The word of the Lord, the Bible, the word in the Bible is our sword. It's what sustains us. Don't read it only when you're at church. Let's make use of that word of the Lord everywhere. Because in the moments that we face difficulties, we know that that word will be our strength. And that and that and that sword has to be in our in our tie. And when we when we least need it, when we least think we're gonna need it, the word of the Lord will be there to help us, and will and will prevent us from anything to to reach us. The reason of all these gifts that the Lord has given us. Like I said in the beginning, bad news coming from everywhere, Ukraine, Russia, Israel, U.S., Brazil, bad news are everywhere. These are, these are the, the fears in the night. And you, you shall not fear anything because the Lord is with you. The King Solomon made himself a palanquin, a palanquin, of, a wooden palanquin. He's talking about my experience, your individual experience. Maybe you had an experience 10 years ago. Maybe you tell this experience you had and that will help someone to believe in Jesus. We talk about Jesus, we ask Jesus, Jesus, we we'll, we'll need, I need to have an experience, a personal experience, so I can glorify your name. Because the experience has to be renewed, renewed, and has to be news in our life every day. Our personal experience in the presence of the Lord. And how was the palanquins made? It was made with pillars of silver. Woods of Lebanon. We can be all of us from everywhere, wherever you're from. You have the right because the wood, the, the, the wood came from Lebanon. It was used in Israel. Those The beauty of this wood, this wood is because it was made of silver wood. The silver is, the silver is a symbol of the redemption. Symbolically, Jesus was sold for 30, 30 coins of silver. What a price that they pay for my son, God said. Something that the man could never pay. 
with all the resources you, you have all that doesn't matter nothing will reach your salvation but the sacrifice and the cross would that that will be because your name and my name will be written in the book of life the support was of gold the pillars and the seats were made of pur or purple the color purple makes talks about the suffering of the Lord and the covering all this all, all the beating that he went through it that expression is, is that expression talks about that it talks about that salvation we see the presence of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit he said the interior paved with love by the daughters of Jerusalem you come here to the house of the Lord you know the Lord you say in your heart that I want to I want my my name to be in the book of life the church will love you we're gonna love you even if we don't know you we're gonna love you with the love that comes from the eternity because the from the moment that you know the sacrifice you're gonna be you're gonna be with him when he returns I need to love you so I can go in the glory with holding holding his hands with you if you have your Bible let's move a page chapter 6 verse says says before I was even aware my soul had made me as the chariots of my nobles people the, the sword in the tight so we can be taught by the Lord to to learn it it has a reason so we can be prepared remember that alert that I spoke in the beginning the Holy Spirit is alerting us so we can fulfill the, the whole so we can be positioned so soon we'll hear Maranatha and before I feel it we're gonna be entering in the celestial mansions the church will be present you are considered the people of Lord bless me the name of the Lord
Lord Jesus, the word of God is perfect. This song just said it. It was a word of God. If the Lord brought you here for you to be here and and prepare for this great day, the the question that was made in Revelations. It was the one that was on. That was a answer. Was it the one that came from the? And the, and the revelation says, Let us be glad and rejoice and giving glory, for the marriage of the Lamb has come. Está muito próximo e já a sua esposa se aprontou. Has made ready. The question of the Holy Spirit is making for you and me. Are you getting ready? Are you getting prepared? It's the invitation of the Holy Spirit. Uh, who is prepared? Me and you, the Holy Spirit is coming. It's being poured here tonight upon me and you so we can be prepared, so we can enter with the Lord in the, in the eternity. with deliverance, experience with victories with you, Lord. We pray in the name of Jesus. And your name will say the wonderful grace of for goodness, the sweet consolation of the Holy Spirit can be poured upon you upon now and forever. Please be seated. Before we uh, give some assistance to our visitors, I would like to leave a, a word. Allah. The book of Exodus, in chapter 10, Exodus 10, verse 9, Moses goes before the Pharaoh to say to Pharaoh that the Lord has given him an order, let my people go. And Pharaoh asked Moses, where would they go? And the, and the Moses, we go with our young and our old, with our sons and our daughters, with our flocks, with our herds, 
we will go, for we must hold a feast to the Lord. And Pharaoh didn't agree. And then the second time Moses goes before him, and he goes and asks the same questions. Because Pharaoh want to be, want to stay. And Moses asked him, Pharaoh, not even a nail. We'll have a seminar in January 13th and 14th. The desire of Pharaoh that you don't go. And they will send the, all the arguments, everyone the, in the church, for you not to go. Oh, I have a work. I don't have money. I'm sick. So Pharaoh would throw an argument, but there's an order from the part of the Lord. So you, my people, go. If you consider a, a member of this church, of of the body, if you consider at least a nail, because the nail is part of the body, the desire of the Lord is that you go. This, the registrations are here. If you need, ask for the assistant leaders of each group. They will uh, guide you. If you have money to go, if you need to do, if you need a discount, we'll have. If you don't have money, you go the same way, because the church is a body of Christ. Amen. Make your registrations. Uh, there are not a lot of uh, spots. It's only 450 people that will fit in that place. It's for the region of the Florida. But all the people from all the states will come. Canada and Mexico are also coming. So they deserve the Lord. They all can participate. And then no one from this church in Pompano are left behind. But the on the 31st, we have our visual at the end of the year visual. And for you, they are with us tonight, participating in the service. You are you are invited to participate. It's going to be on the 31st at 10:30 at night at this church. At this church. All are invited. All can participate. If you want to invite people, family, there are places for everyone. After the visual, we'll have a confraternity, Luciano. He will ask our sisters and and brethren from our church to uh, give all the orientations. We're gonna have a, a buffet after the visual. Tomorrow we're going to give more orientations, more information about the 31st of uh, December. So you are with us. Uh, so that you that are here with, with us for the first time, we have services Saturdays at 7.30, Sunday morning at 10.30, Sunday Bible School, Sunday night at 7.30 we have a service. On Tuesday, we have a Bible study via Zoom. On, on Wednesday, on Zoom, we have a service for the ladies at 8 o'clock. And if you're visiting us would like to participate in the seminar, just give your name. We can do your registration. It will be a pleasure to have you with us. After the visiting, there will be a... There will be a rehearsal with the with the group of uh, with the songs for the visual amen if you wish to have an, an attention a prayer something that you our our brothers and and here will come assist you <coughs> 
Thank you so much to all the Peace Award.